Action is the foundational key to all success. Pablo Picasso. I want to welcome you today to the Secret for Teens Revealed online lesson guide to help walk you through and maximize your chances for success. First of all, I want to congratulate you for taking the time out of your day to study. It shows me that you want more in your life, and I'm the first one to tell you that I felt that very way when I was a school teacher back in the late 90s. I'll get to my story later though. Don't forget to use the Secret for Teens Revealed Study Guide and Workbook as you walk through each of the top 10 lessons I'll go into in the book. Now, not many people realize their goals and dreams. But regular people all over the world are stepping out and reaching incredible heights as they use a support system to stay on track with their goals. If you do know what you really, really want in your life, you're lucky and way ahead of the game. So it does help to study and figure out what areas of your life you want to work on for the rest of your life. Something that you want to do that you enjoy, that you love. And I want to tell you, once you figure that out, you've got to act on it. Start now and never, never, never give up. For me, goals are my roadmap to the life I want. They have helped me accomplish things I once thought were impossible. Catherine Pulsifer. So back in the late 90s, I was a school teacher in Toronto. And I knew that I wasn't using the potential that I had. I know that I had so much more inside myself that I wanted to do and I wasn't doing it and I was looking for more and if you're someone out there that uh, sees the potential in someone else or you think that there's so much more you could be doing and you're just not doing it maybe you just don't know how you don't know where to get started well I was lucky I lived next door to Bob Proctor's director of sales now Bob Proctor at the time I didn't know who he was I didn't know what the sales profession was nor did I know what the personal development industry was but I later became a serious student of all of these and it changed my life forever I was so lucky to have the chance to work hand in hand with one of the top speakers in the world and research all of the people that were um, top in the industry so within my Bob Proctor offices I had the chance to research Jack Canfield Mark Victor Hansen, I was on a training call and was mentored by Jay Abraham and I started studying and researching and learning and realizing all this information that these leaders are teaching adults, I needed to take it to the teen world. And it was at a, a meeting that Bob Proctor was doing um, in, uh, actually it was at the Louisiana Superdome. And he took 12 young people and turned their lives around like that. It was instant. Young people who had um, challenges speaking in front of large groups were talking in front of 8,000 people. And uh, young people with asthma were learning different strategies of ways to think to slow down their breathing so their asthma wasn't becoming such a big problem. And at that minute, I knew that it was my responsibility to start working with the ideas that I was learning and write a curriculum for young people. So I started um, in my spare time to write The Secret for Teens Revealed. It started back in the late 90s with all my research and I ended up publishing the book in 2008. Now it did take me a long time and I had a lot of struggles along the way. Um, I had a choice when September 11th happened to either go back to my comfort zone where things were easy or stick it out. And I stuck it out and at one point in my life in order to stay on track for my goals I cleaned houses and I worked at, at the Arizona Biltmore as a nanny. And I could say um, that those two experiences, you know, oh woe is me, that was uh, such a difficult time, but it was that that gave me the character and the strength to continue. Take up one idea. Make that one idea your life, think of it, dream of it, live on that idea, let the brain, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea, and just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success, that is the way that great spiritual giants are produced, Swami Vivekananda. I've watched thousands of young people skyrocket as they take these tools that I've outlined in this book to achieve their goals and dreams. I can tell you of Tammy O'Neill from Scotland, UK. She read The Secret for Teens Revealed and already has started her own photography business.
Then there's Rachel Lambert from New York, USA. She's known the power of positive thinking before she was 13. She has a YouTube channel with almost a million views and she produces all of my videos. Scott Isbell from Massachusetts, USA. He's been using the power of his mind to stay focused on his music career. And stay tuned, big things are happening with Scott Isbell. The more intensely we feel about an idea or a goal, the more assuredly the idea buried deep in our subconscious will direct us along the path to its fulfillment. Errol Nightingale. So how do you begin? Where do you start? We'll start with part one of the book. It's a, a personal inventory or taking stock of where you are right now. So you've got to see where you want to go. Take an honest look at your life. Who are you hanging out with? What activities are, do, are you doing? How's your family or life relationships? What do you do to stay healthy? Do you enjoy music or the arts? What are your visions for your future? Once you get a, a big idea of where you are now, it will be easy to see where you want to go. Take a look at all your natural talents and abilities. This theory was created by Howard Gardner. He's really done a great job with helping you to identify your areas of strength so that you work with those areas and delegate your areas of weakness. I can tell you right now that I know nothing about web design. I know nothing about graphics or Photoshop, so I have people that I have found that help me with these areas. I stick to what I'm good at. Then you want to find one goal that you're going to work on, one thing that you're going to stick to, something that you love, something that you would trade your life for. Yes, what would you work your whole life for? I've been working since the late 90s and probably because I had some subconscious programming that's been preventing me that I've had to overcome. Not, pe not many people have as difficult a time as I have. That's why I want to introduce this to you at your age so that you can blast through this and attain your goals. Now let's move on to the top 10 secret lessons that will allow you to perfect your skills in these top areas. If you stick to your plan, you'll succeed. Take it from all those people who've gone before you and just give it a try.